Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O 
Almighty ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand, in gold of Ophir. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. Hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your lord. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life but each one in proper order. Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ, then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Hallelujah. 
is taken up to heaven, a chorus of angels exalts. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Ngayong araw na ito ay dinadakila muli natin si Inang Maria sa kanyang dakilang Solemnidad, ang kanyang pag-akyat sa langit. Kung bibisitahin natin ang turo ng simbahan, it, isa ito sa apat na Marian dogmas na magisterially proclaimed, no? solemnly declared ng ating simbahan, turo ng simbahan. Sa apat na ito, no? ano yung una? The first is the perpetual virginity of Mama Mary no? na pagkatapos bago siya, bago i-conceive si Jesus, no? during the birth of Jesus and after the birth of Jesus, Mary remained to be a virgin. No? The second is the motherhood of Mama Mary. No? Mary was just not just a simple mother but the mother of God. Not just the mother of Christ, Mother of God. Siya yung tagadala, no? Bit, 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 bit niya, no? Theotokos. Sa kanyang sinapupunan ang anak ng Diyos. Kaya nga, ang isa rin sa mga titulo ni Maria ay Ark of the Covenant, no? Ark kasi sisidlan ng salita ng Diyos, no? Ang pangatlo ay yung kanyang Immaculate Conception, no? Na nung pinaglihi si Maria no, ng kanyang inang si Santa Ana, she was spared from all the trappings of original sin. No? Because she has to, what? Be the bearer of the Son of God. At yung pinakahuli, eto nga, no, 1950s lang ito, 
um, solemnly proclaimed no, by Pope Pius XII, kung di ako nagkakamali, no, that when Mary no, finished her earthly life, no, she assumed into heaven body and soul as her participation in the singular um, act no, of the redemption of Jesus Christ. No? At ito rin ang prefiguration na lahat tayo no, na sumusunod kay Jesus, pareho rin ang ating matatamong kalawalhatian. Dito sa apat na turo na ito, no, maraming nagsasabi, no, lalong-lalo na yung mga hindi katoliko, no, ba't ang dami-dami ninyong mga titulo kay Maria? No? Ba't ang dami-dami ninyong turo kay Maria? Wala naman yan sa Biblia. No? Kung ano-ano ang titulo na binibigay sa, ninyo sa kanya, sa kanya at kung ano-ano pang kapistahan. No? You see, my dear brothers and sisters, no? sa kasaysayan ng pagliligtas ng Diyos sa atin, sa pamamagitan ni Yesu Kristo, ang pangalawang may pinaka-role doon, walang iba kundi siya. Walang iba kundi siya. Papano? Because it is through her no, na tinulay ang tao at Diyos. Sa pamamagitan niya, ang Diyos ay nagkatawang tao. At kung walang participation ng ating mahal na ina, kung hindi siya umuo, kung hindi siya nakikoordinate sa plano ng Diyos, walang kaligtasan na nangyari. Of course, you would argue, pwede naman tayong iligtas ng Diyos eh, kahit wala si Maria. No. no. God has to assume human flesh in order to lift it up to the divine life that He is offering us. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, Mama Mary is not the Savior. No? But in her womb, doon na buo ang kaligtasan ng tao. Hindi siya ang Diyos. No? Exactly, He is not God. She is not God. But through her participation, no? ang Diyos ay nagkatawang tao. Si Jesus ay nagkaroon ng saplot. At yung saplot na yun, ito yung ating laman. Kaya nga, ang kapistahan ng December 25 should be properly called Incarnation. nagkatawang tao ang Diyos. At kanino siya nanggaling? Kay Maria. Kaya nga, sa kapistahan ngayon, na ating ginugunita ang kanyang pag-akyat sa langit, no? wala ay utong tinutukoy, kundi pinofortify nito ang ating paniniwala na si Kristo ay ating Diyos. Nagkatawang tao siya sa kapangyarihan ng Espiritu Santo at ang pumayag na mangyari ito, representative nating mga, kat- mga tao, walang iba kundi si Maria. Our prayers, our devotions, our great regard to Mary as Mother of God, as Immaculate Conception, as assumed into heaven, as perpetually virgin are the titles that should always lead us to Jesus. Lead us closer to Jesus. Dahil wala naman hong ibang talagang role na gampanin pa si Maria, kundi, ano, hilahin tayo papunta sa kanyang anak. Win us over so that we too could be sharers of whatever merit she now presently enjoys because after Jesus siya ang numero unong 
makakahila sa atin patungo sa Diyos. Kaya sa misang ito, nawa mas palalim pa natin ang ating pagmamahal sa Kanya. Mas mapalalim pa natin ang ating pag-unawa sa Kanya. We cannot love what we do not understand. May we understand more fully her participation in the divine salvific action of His Son. Mary, assumed into heaven, intercede for us to Jesus. Mary, assumed into heaven, pray for us to Jesus. Amen. Let us all stand and together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Raise body and soul to glory. Mary shines forth as a great sign of our eternal future as the Church, but we are still pilgrims as we bring our prayers with her to God our Father. In every prayer we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, that we will look forward to the resurrection promised us by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they will always work for peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For devotion to Mary, that Christians may find unity around the lowly handmaid exalted to glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, that the gentle Queen of Peace may reign in every home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead, that they will rise with Christ to rejoice forever with Our Lady and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Lord of heaven and earth, our prayers come before you with the help of the glorious ever Virgin Mary, the first believer called to share in the glory of your triumphant Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the truthful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day on her solemnity of her ascension, assumption into heaven, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain in you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the name of